Okay, in this video, we're going to be tying a caddish dry fly. This is the uh, super easy way to tie this. Um, I found using the deer hair or elk hair kind of be can really be difficult to work with and messy. So the the hook I have in the vise is a size 16 dry fly H123 from Hemingway. Uh, basically, basically, I guess you could call this a Hemingway caddis dry fly. I'll be using Hemingway's 8 aught thread in black. So we'll start our thread right behind the hook eye. Wrap it back to about where the barb is. You can get these Hemingway products from Frosty Fly. Um, I'll show you the wing. I'm using the wings from Hemingway. They come on a little card and you just peel them out and fold them and tie them up. And really easy way to tie a caddis dry fly okay now we're going to tie in a hackle grizzly hackle feather next we'll tie in our body and you can use whatever color that matches the caddis on your streams I'm going to be using a super fine dry fly dubbing and tan so we'll dub a thin noodle we'll uh, wrap it back a little and then we'll begin wrapping up Let me tighten it a little bit And we'll leave a little space in the front of that. So now we'll take our hackle pliers. We'll put a turn around the back. And then we'll Palmer the hackle up through. And we'll trim that hackle feather out. Okay. And next I'll take my scissors and I'll trim the very top fibers off. Sort of give it a crew cut. And I have that Hemingway's wing caddis wing already folded and we're gonna lay that right on top there's a tab in front you want to catch that tab 
make sure it's straight on top. Let's see. I think I quite got it on top, so let me back that up a little bit. There we go. That's better. So we'll tie that in. Now next, I'm going to take a brown hackle feather, or furnace colored. We're going to tie that in. See if I can't come in and trim that little bit of stem out. There we go. We'll take our hackle pliers again. This is a short hackle feather, but we're not going to need very many wraps in this. Three wraps would be plenty. So we'll capture that. And we'll trim it out. Now, now I like to take my half hitch tool. I think the wings twisted a little bit, but you can straighten them out before you put your half hitch in. That's good. Take my half hitch tool and I'll push some of them fibers back. And that helps keep them out of the way when you're tying this fly on. We'll do one more. Okay. Take a little bit of head cement because put it on that thread, a little bit on the bottom. And there's your Hemingway Caddis dry fly. Like I said, this is a lot easier to tie and a super effective fly. And you can tie it in whatever body colors you want. So I hope this video helps you, you know, find an easier way to tie a Caddis dry fly. It's a lot cleaner. Um, you can, like I said, you can get these Hemingway products from Frosty Fly. And I appreciate you watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you.